Hi and welcome. I am MJ. In this video, I will show you how to install Windows 11 24H2 update for any unsupported PC without using Microsoft account or internet. So first we need to make a bootable pen drive. So let's see first how to make a bootable pen drive of Windows 11. Open any browser in your PC and open the Google. In the Google, just type Windows 11 24H2 download. Open this first link. And here you can check PC health, but we are going to make a bootable pen drive for supported and unsupported PCs. Okay, so scroll down. You need to download the ISO file. So here, download Windows 11 disk image file. That is ISO file. Here, select the download. Select Windows 11 multi edition ISO for 64 bit. Okay, and then click on download now. And after this. Uh, select your language select english international and then confirm now click on download and that's it this is the iso file of windows 11 just save it where you want so after download complete as you can see i have successfully downloaded this iso file here Win 11 24H2. Okay, see the ISO file, and now it's time to download the bootable pen drive software. So open the Google and here type Rufus and open this first link. This is the official link of Rufus. Okay, close the ad. You scroll down here to find the uh, download link. So the latest release is 4.5, but here you can see 4.6 beta version. Okay. So download this beta version 4.6 and save it. This is a very small size file, okay? So just simply save it and download it. Now open the Rufus and attach the pen drive, okay? Now it's time to attach your pen drive. And remember, when you using the any pen drive, this will completely remove the data from your pen drive, okay? So it's better to use the empty pen drive. Or if you have any important data in pen drive then take the backup of your pen drive okay because making the bootable pen drive will delete or erase your entire pen drive data okay so Rufus is open now here uh, select your pen drive as you can see it's auto direct my pen drive and select the iso file so we have already downloaded the iso file so click on select and select the iso file and click open and rest of thing don't disturb it just keep it default and uh, you can change it okay you can change the value name i will give it like uh, when 11 24 h2 for his understanding i will give this name and rest of all these things keep it default and click on start when you click on start you will get the option here like remove requirement for 4 gb ram secure boot uh tpm2 so check on this remove requirement of online microsoft account and check on this uh, create local account you can give any name here you can also check on this set regional option it's up to you to disable data and disable bit lockers it's up to you but for safety purpose i have all checked on okay but if you are making the bootable pen drive for unsupported pc then you must check on this remove requirement remove requirement of online account okay and check on this create local account this three must and should for unsupported pc so check on this and then click ok so here we got the warning all data from the pen drive will be deleted okay so it's better to use the empty pen drive then click on okay and it's starting to make a bootable pen drive of windows 11 24h2 for supported and unsupported pcs okay so wait for some time it will take around five to eight minutes to make a bootable pen drive you will get the ready option here when it's complete okay so wait for it okay done the process is complete now we are ready to use our bootable pen drive as you can see we got the ready option here so now attach this windows 11 bootable pen drive to your pc or laptop and then reboot or restart your pc after reboot when you see the blank screen in your pc press the f12 or delete button to go to bios setting okay in most cases F12 and delete button will work to go to BIOS setting. In some cases, F12, F2 also work. Okay, 
so if you don't know which is the bios key of your uh, laptop or pc then search on google okay so after you enter into the bios setting go to the boot option so the option might be very like it called boot advanced or boot option or whatever option about you have found about boot just go to the boot tab and select the first boot as a pen drive okay select the pen, pen drive as a first boot or remove disk as a first boot and after this reboot your pc and it will install your windows 11 from the pen drive as you can see here this windows 11 is installing from my pen drive so i got this screen simply select the language to install and time and currency format okay i will select english india and click next and keyboard or input select it and then click next here we are going to install the windows 11 okay so select the install windows 11 and you have to agree i agree to everything will be deleted including the file so it will delete your drive file okay so click next and product key i will insert later so click on i don't have product key you can also activate your windows after installation complete and one more important thing is when you are installing the windows 11 please turn off the your wi-fi router or if you are directly connected the internet to the pc just turn off it and now here is showing the uh, all addition select windows 11 pro and then click next and this is a agreement just select the accept okay so this is a very important okay here be very careful now it will shows all drive from your pc or laptop okay so we need to select the correct drive where you want to install the our windows 11 okay so for example as you can see 64 gb is my c drive I have previously installed the Windows 11 on the C drive. So again, I am going to install the fresh copy of Windows 11 on the C drive. Okay, so select the correct drive. Select the correct drive of your PC. For example, I am going to select the C drive. Don't select the D, E, R, F drive. If you select the other drive like D, E, F, then their drive data will be deleted. So if you select the C drive, only the C drive data will be deleted and it will install the fresh copy of windows 11 other data will not be deleted okay other drive data like de will not be deleted if you select only c drive so i have selected the c drive and click next only the c drive operating system will be deleted and it will install the fresh copy so i have selected the c drive and next and install and that's it now wait here as you can see it's installing the windows 11 and while installing don't press any button of your laptop or if you're using pc don't turn off your pc okay let it do completely okay so your pc might be restart several times so don't be panic just sit back relax if you got a looping like your uh, pc again loading and loading your windows 11 then remove the pen drive okay yeah uh, it's a final stop yeah this is the stuff we have to skip so as I said before, when you are installing the Windows 11, just turn off your Wi-Fi. And as you can see, I got the option here, I don't have a internet. Okay. So just click on it. You will bypass the uh, internet and Microsoft account. Yeah, that's it. So finally, I got a Windows uh, play 124 has to update on my pc as you can see here i have successfully installed it so this is the way to install the windows 11 24 has to for unsupported pc i have made this video only for education and information purpose so thank you for watching guys catch you next video please like share and subscribe thank you very much